What's up, cousins, and welcome back to see Six Room. I feel like I'm saying that different every time just because I'm like really not sure about that yet, you know? Cause y'all, I told y'all I like I like consistency, but I like change. So I just I haven't figured out what I want to do with that, you know? So um, anywho. We got dating someone with a kid, Trey. So Trey's gonna be telling us about how it is to date with somebody with a kid. Y'all remember I used to always be like, I don't wanna date somebody with a kid, but like, honestly, I really don't care. Like, I mean, I wouldn't mind it. Um, but it's a lot that goes in with that because like my thing is if you got that baby mama drama bro i'm just i'm not here for it because i'm not gonna fight i'm not gonna argue and you're not gonna be doing no dirt with her behind my back because if that's the case i can be on my lonely and that's just me but you know it's different cases with different people so I don't know like I feel like Cherry like their relationship is great like like Ari is a good woman she's a good mommy and you know she ain't doing nothing shady like that so I really I really would like to get um Trey's perspective on dating somebody with a kid so let's go ahead and get into it why he be changing the song all the time? It's your boy, Mr. Bells. I do this for real. Hold up. Y'all said we. My, my, my name is Mr. Bells. Bells. I do this for real. 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 Yes. Yes. Before I get started this video, man, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn the notification on while you at it. Get that bell right there. Or ring it, ding it, ding it, ding it. And oh, yeah. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to hit that bell as well so they know whatever I'm posting. So as y'all see, like, I got a special comment, guest. You know what I'm saying? It's your girl, Aaron. You feel me? And today, we're going to be spilling a little. Okay. Spilling some tea. Spilling oh, some tea. okay. I know opinions on dating someone that has a child already. Uh -huh. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and say first off, um So is this like advice or is this like a story time? It's a story like, time because this is my first experience. Okay, so you're gonna are you gonna like tell them like an the actual story? Yeah. 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 Cause I have a story. Mm. That has to do with us. Uh, and like like the dating process of having great kids. Okay, okay. Uh -huh. I'm okay, like, like, story time crazy. people was asking like a like a the story time of dating each other while me having a kid. And so this is a story time like about like obstacles and stuff that we've been through while dating somebody, me with a child. For those who do not know, I have a son. He is four. His name is Daniel. He's not on social media a lot, but he's he's on social media sometimes. You know yeah. what I'm saying? For our own personal reasons, not Okay, so okay, so then that you explained it like that now. Alright. So, um, the very first thing that ever happened with us. So, oh, what's the very first, first thing? What was the first thing? I'll tell y'all. It kind of made a difference in our relationship when we very first met Oh, okay. The very first thing. Okay. So, when I first met her, we had a discussion about, um, basically, we was talking, trying to get to know each other and stuff like this. It was our first time meeting. So, it was like, it was late. And then like, we had just got done shooting videos and stuff like that. So, everybody was chilling. Look, she's then, like, what um, are you talking we was, about? We shot some videos that day. And, we was in the kitchen at her mom's house. We was in the kitchen and she was asking me different questions. And she was like, so how do you feel about dating somebody with a child? And I was just like, the first time I was like, nah, I don't, I really don't, you know what I'm saying? I really like to and stuff like that. Um, and just, you know what I'm saying? Just because I was young minded and I've never experienced anything like that. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, um, well, I have, but I was just nervous to experience You're not again. telling the story right. I was nervous to experience it again. Because I, I don't, that is telling it right. You're not telling the story right. That is. Let me tell the first part. 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 So this is how it went, y'all. It's fun fact about me is that um, I, I'm very communicative, as y'all can tell. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I like to give people genuine opinions. Like, if I'm playing you a song, I'll go, how do you think about this song? Mm, it's trash. Oh, that's my song. Oh, you know what I'm saying? People give you the honest opinions when they don't know. So we actually were all at Chili's, and I asked everybody at the table because Trey had an attitude because whoever he was talking to at that time, they was all making him mad. Well, I don't know what he had going on. So he had a little attitude. He had a little attitude. So he like, Yo, 
going with me right now. But this is my first time meeting, so it's not, don't be all, oh, that's messed up. This is our first time meeting. You know what I'm saying? And like, we did, we all went to Chili's or whatever. So he's sitting there, he like, and I'm like, so I started asking the question. I'm like, so what's what's y'all, what's y'all? And then they was explaining like the top, the pointer, the point guard, and all this other stuff at the table. And I'm like, okay. And I said, you know, have y'all ever dated anybody with kids? At this point, they don't know that I have a son. So I'm asking because you know, when you see somebody you're attracted, but you get their genuine opinion rather than a lie. Yeah. So I, asked, I said, you know, have y'all, would y'all ever date somebody with kids? Trey, like, no. Mm -mm, mm -mm. No, you know what I'm saying? And uh, everybody else is giving it. Of course, the couples are pregnant, so it's like whatever. And then they were pregnant. Right? Yes, they were. When we met them, when I met them, everybody was pregnant. Uh -huh. They had just found out. Mm -hmm. When I met everybody, everybody was pregnant. I ain't meet nobody. Every time I meet somebody, they were freaking pregnant. And I was just yeah. freaking pregnant. So like, that happened. That was a long time. We needed every single person, and they were pregnant. That's crazy. I had to meet you. You trying to go to the party, girl? <laughs> but anyway so um after the dinner so now i'm kind of like observing because i'm like dang you ain't talking about the kids there's nothing i can do about that because now i'm like i don't i can't like you like it doesn't matter so then um things weren't weird but like i just pulled back as in like a black man because i i if you don't like me yeah. having a child there's nothing i can there's do about nothing, but he yeah. didn't know i had a kid so then um we get to the house and then um we have went and got pizza from like mod pizza or something like that and um everybody's eating their pizza and everything and I think the conversation came up again, and then that's when they found out that I had my son Daniel. And so it was like a, oh, oh, and I was like, yeah, I was like, just asking. And so then after that, it was like kind of like, we never mentioned it. I'm just like, I'm just not gonna like him. I said, cause I, my son is my everything. So it's yeah. no, there's no compromising with that. So then we went to, um, what happened after that? So then, um, I was real distant or whatever. I'm just doing, you know what I'm saying? Just going with the flow, like, okay, it's not a big deal. So apparently him and my mom had a conversation and kind of my mom had told him why I was so weird acting or like so distant, like not even trying to like, I was just getting to know, I was treating him like a friend, like a, like I see him when I see him type of thing rather than like, oh, I like you. Oh, I wonder if he can like me type of thing and flirting and all that. I wasn't doing all that. So, um, one day he took me home because remember like once we moved in and everything like that, one day he took me back to my mom's house and he was like, you know, can I talk to you? And I said, yeah. And he was like, I'll take you home. And when he took me home, he was like, hey, I just wanted to talk to you about the kid thing. When we first met, I had told you that I know um, that. Like, okay, now I can do that. Yeah. So, all right. Pick it up. He's, he's like, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> you. Yeah. Two. Hey. Boo. My boo. Yeah. <laughs> he said, my boo. <laughs> all right, so. While we ride up to the crib, I had decided to talk to her, you know, a little one-on-one -on -one because prior to that, we would always be around the other, everybody else. So we really didn't have time to really talk to each other one-on-one. -on -one. So she said she's ready to go home. So I was like, okay, okay, okay cool. So I, I take her home, we're in the car. I was like, okay, um, about the kid situation, um, I think you kind of misunderstood what, or misinterpreted what I was saying to you. And she was like, oh, really? Well, what were you trying to say? And I was basically saying like, I mean, I've had a bad, like, pr prior to me talking to her, um, uh, uh, I had a situation before in which I was talking to someone else and they had a child and it just wasn't a good situation for me. Mm -hmm. um, it was just like something that was just like, I was just like, wow, like, okay, well, have at it then. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, like sometimes but it's I've not never good. Been opposed you got to, you got to hit them with cousins. Okay, yeah. well, okay, so what happened was um, the child was being, like, very disruptive. disruptive and just just bad right it's so bad. i caught myself trying to discipline him and i didn't even i didn't even walk or put my hands on him i was just like hey yo chill like you're doing the most relax i didn't raise my voice too much i was just like yo chill like like but i had to say it's currently so the child can understand yeah, I was yeah, not yeah, yeah, yeah. and the mother was like playing. don't talk to my child like that and i was like <laughs> okay cool you got that. <laughs> that's your child you're right Ooh. Care about it, I just look, 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 no, boy, hold on, you just a second. All right, y'all, we back in. Let me, let me stop, bro. Trey is killing you with the he was like, he was like, all right, I won't be in this situation. Like, Period. I'm not put myself in a situation to where I feel like a child is being disobedient and in my face being disobedient, and I'm trying to correct the child's behavior, and you just shutting me down. Yeah, and I've always been afraid of that factor you know what i'm saying so when i before i got with her that makes sense 
I just, you know what I'm saying, that was always something that weighed on my shoulders when women with children because I didn't have a good experience with that. So I had to explain that to her and she understood that, you know, what I was trying to say, like, because before, I guess, the way I was being so adamant about it, she was just like, okay, well, you just don't like kids. But it wasn't that I don't like kids or that I'm not, um, I'm not um, acceptable to women with kids. It was just the fact that I had a bad experience prior to her. You know what I'm saying? Like the- any way to prevent it. Yeah, it was just like a prevention thing, but being that I've been in in their life, I, Dan is a great kid, you know what I mean? I don't have a problem with him. He's not disobedient. You say, hey, Dan, hey, chill out. Hey, chill he out. Listens, you know what I'm saying? And I can tolerate kids like that, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So um, that was what, what my mindset was prior to meeting her. And so that's why I was so adamant about it. But um, we talked about it and after that, it was just like, a, oh, okay, I see what you're saying. Okay, cool. Well, I can do with that. And well, we I can, can work it. our way towards, you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to force my son on you, but I do want you to understand that I have a son. You know what I mean? Yeah. So um, that was always something that we, you know, I've always knew and we talked about. And eventually, as time progressed, um, I was able to meet Dan and we were able to spend quality time and I was able to, you know, Cause the, I think the difference between everything is that when we first met, I, y'all know I, you know, I stayed with my mom, so Dan and them were in the house. But as in one on one time, as in like Ari, Trey, and you know what I'm saying, it, it was a while before it was just like us three, or like a, you know what I'm saying, or like a hey, it, mommy is with, you know what I'm saying. It was a, it was a long time. It was like a, cause I say this to all the time. I never want to force anybody in anybody's life or mm-hmm. make you have to do something, but. Since we had the conversation so much because I do have a child, it's like we were able to like like um, communicate. Cause my thing is like a you don't want nobody talking to your your kids crazy, but if they're doing something that they're not supposed to be doing, then I don't it want needs to be corrected. Like and not saying it either. You know what I'm saying? So we had that conversation like before, like a hey, like a airy. By the way, like a but Dan you know, is get on top of but, but the, yeah, but, but the thing about Dan, he's so funny to me sometimes. So it's just like I, while I'm talking to him, I would be laughing, so he won't take me serious sometimes. So Ari had to tell me like, hey, I, know, I need you to understand when you're talking to him, you gotta, mm-hmm. you cannot be laughing because if he thinks that you're playing, he's not going to take you serious. So, exactly. Especially just, since it, everybody, everybody came. If the way the way everything went, it came in as Uncle Bill. You know what I'm saying? So when you're Uncle Bill's, but like nobody knows. Oh, we're secretly talking. Like when you're Uncle Bill's, because I'm not, you know, you know what I'm saying? This, I'm not, you know, like you're yeah, Uncle Bill. Yeah, yeah. So at that time, Trey's laughing. Everybody's laughing if Dan does something ignorant. Everybody's doing, and I'm like. But now it's like three years at the time. It's like, okay, I mean, because who knows where me and Trey can go now? It's like a having to go back and kind of like, like, correct all of that. Yeah, the little gap of just, just, just fix the screws, you know what I'm saying? Tighten them up a little you bit. You just fix the screws, so, but I feel like it's been like a it's a learning process. One, it's hard to date as a female because you have to think about the safety of your child at all times, make sure that both parties are comfortable, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, and then you know, like a like uh just being like communicative and then like when you're dating somebody and like our situation is different like he came in and met my whole family in one day because yeah. of how our situation was you know what i'm saying so it's like we have all this history he's always been he's been around consistently for like three years like that's a long time to be around somebody so now it's kind of like a like a trade he does something ignorant like if i'm about to whoop him don't be sitting there like <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But like, it's like a, it's a learning process. We just been trying to find like a nice little mix with it. So it's like a, okay, y'all, I'll be back. And then it's like a tray. Don't give him nothing sweet to eat. Don't do this. I'm going downstairs for five minutes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They play the game together or something, or they sitting there talking about I don't even know. Or you know what I'm saying? It's just like a, it's like a little balance. So I feel like a, I feel like dating, like dating while having children is like a. It's, it's definitely a learning experience. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's something that, that you, you have to like have patience with, um, with for both parties. You yeah. know what I mean? Um, it's definitely a patience thing. It teaches you some some values on life. It teaches yeah. you. I mean, because now that being that I don't have a child, it's like I'm seeing like everything. Like it's, it's a good experience. Firsthand, you know yeah. Like, you I'm get to see what it's gonna be like when you have a kid. How to raise and how to really discipline them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And stuff like that. So. Um, it's a good, I mean, I, I feel like it's a good experience. I mean, I, I don't, I, I take away a lot of great lessons from it, a lot of great values from it. Um, I see things that I do like about it, things I don't like about it. So it's like, you know, 
it's a good it's a good learning experience, man. Mm-hmm. So it's like, I mean, hey, man, I I. I it, I feel like I got my own little family already. You know what I mean? So and it's like it's like a it really it, it really is it's, it really is like that. Like we we always like with each other. We done went on like little family dates. Mm-hmm. Um, not as often, but like we went on little dates sometimes with extra people and stuff like that. But you gotta it's like a it's a you wanna you don't wanna cause kids get attached. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So it's like a like a where's Trey? Mommy, where's Trey? Trey's here? Is Trey not here? Mommy, <laughs> Trey's where's here? Trey? Where's Trey? Yeah, 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 yeah. Damn, mommy's having a pity moment. Leave it alone. You know what I'm <laughs> Leave it alone. I understand. Leave it alone, Daniel. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like it's definitely a learning process, but I feel like our main thing has been like communicating. Like, a, if he sees that I'm being like, uh, well, I would say I'm, I, I, I have become. I'm so tough on my siblings. I become a punk when it comes to Daniel. Like, I have my punk moments, and like Trey would be like, Eric, I'm telling you <laughs> right now. If he's he's doing a boy. It, he's a boy. This is, you know what I'm saying? So you like, gotta, he fell, and I'm freaking out. And Trey's like, calm down. He's okay. And I'm like, but he fell. I'm like, no, no, no. Watch him. He's like, Eric, calm down. So it's been like a good little balance. You know what I'm saying? Like, teach each other stuff. Like, a, Dan don't like listening to my music. He like listening to his music mm-hmm. now. And then you got to think about it. He was raised and always around females. My yeah. brother is here sometimes, not here. And then my stepdad, he works, doesn't work. And it's just a lot. And then, like, yeah. uh, the only other boy is Caden. And then Caden being his own world. He don't, he don't, he like, so it's just Dan and a whole yeah, bunch, a bunch of, of females. females. So he don't yeah. male around. It's been like a big, it's been a big help, even if it's like, it's in it's it's in little stuff, you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, bro, uh, uh-uh, uh, 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 you want to smell good? Let's do this. You know what I'm saying? It's like a, uh, you know what I'm saying? It's just like little yes. stuff, like the, you just know? trying to just trying to help him see like you that he, like he's he a needs male, a male you know so presence. Like he needs a male role model, male figure to show you like yeah. some things. You know what I mean? Like opening the door, yeah, female. opening the doors to females, and hey, man, when your mom gets out the out the car, you stand by the door and you wait for her. You don't let and you protect her. Man. You do when she oh. she needs some bass to be careful. You protect you, her. Hand, you know what I mean? You don't oh. just walk away, mommy. You gotta know. Let me help you, mommy. You know what I mean? So it's like just just the simple, just the little things until he gets old enough to understand more things. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah. but it's definitely like having two kids. Mm-hmm. Him and Daniel is like having two kids, especially hey. like sleeping in the bed with them. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. One time, never again. Never, never again. again. Never again. Worst experience of my whole entire life. Anyway, man, but uh, I feel like you know I've I've taken a lot of great values. I've um, been able to pour some of the the knowledge that my father has given to me and to Daniel, and I just, you know, I'm appreciative of having the opportunity to be in both of their lives. Yeah. So um, I, I say all that to say um, it's been a it's been a great experience. I, I, I keep saying it's been a great experience because it really it's been I've yeah. learned a lot. I really have been also helped me mature in a lot of aspects, you know what I mean, by just being around and being and, and seeing how everything works and stuff like that. So, um, I say all that to say, um, dang, it really plays like a, like a, you know what I'm saying, like when you think about the haircut and then they be asking me what I want, like, and I call Trey and then they talk to him on the phone. Oh, like, he want this, okay, I got you, bro. Like, I'm like, I don't know, just do something. Yeah, 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 <laughs> just do something. Uh-huh. Got you, bro, got you, bro. All right, brother, I'm like, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. And then he looks good, right? It looks good. 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 I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys got any more topics you want us to touch on, story time, Cherry Speaks, episode four, which will more likely be on her channel. Make sure you subscribe. Yes! Y'all, I love their, like, um, their story times or like whatever they want to call them their cherry talks um i just they're so relatable like just relatable people like they just remind me of myself and my friends and stuff like that well yeah probably like my only friends like so <laughs> no but for real like i like i love that because um trey was basically saying like you know like i had a bad experience with it that's why i wasn't like really with it and i understand that like i ain't never had no bad experience with dating somebody with a kid because <sighs> i ain't dating nobody with no kid because i don't have dates because no one likes me because i don't have any boyfriends I don't have any... that's besides the point anyway um <laughs> yeah i mean like i said like it's it's it or really like Aries said like it's a balance like you you have to balance it and um 
I like I don't have a problem with dating somebody with a kid but it's a lot that goes into it like I just wouldn't want the drama the fussing the fighting I don't want to fight with your baby mama like if if you got a kid and we can live nice cordial lives and live a happy like I wouldn't mind like the sister wives like not really sister wives but like you know me and her like we can be cool but like I just really don't want to have like no drama with nobody because I'm not a drama filled person I don't like to I don't like to argue I mean I do like to argue but I don't like to argue with like I don't want to argue over a child I'd, ra I'd rather argue with my significant other. Like, I don't want to argue with no girl. Like, I don't want to argue with no girl. I don't want to fight. Like, I don't... I'm too cute for that. Like, I'm just too cute. Like, I can't... I can't be doing that. Like, that's just a lot. So, I don't know. It, I Like, it just depends on the situation. Like, like his first situation was bad. The second situation was good. Like, it's just... It's, it's, it's a circumstance type of thing. Like, it just depends on the circumstances because... I mean, it could start off good and end bad. It could start off bad and end good. Like, it's just, it just depends on the situation. But, um, I mean, I wouldn't mind dating nobody with no kid. It'd be fun. Like, I feel like it'd be fun. Like, you know, like, I'm gonna be stepmom of the year. Like, eh. Like, y'all remember, like, I think it was, like, 2017. Like, people was always talking, like, stepdaddies is winning. Like, oh, my gosh, bro. People are so funny. But y'all let me know what y'all thought about this video in the comments down below. Um, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you want me to react to. And Blue Hearts are yours.